So let's now discuss con conditionals and recursion. So we are going to discuss flow control now. So in flow control, we can actually control which statements to run based upon a condition. Right. So let's discuss the first type of flow control, which is the if else statements. So if you want to create an if else statement, you will have to use the reserved keyword if and let's provide some condition in it. So condition should be specified using the relational operators and then you will have to provide a semicolon, sorry, a colon and then press press enter. So you can see here that this is a condition if and if the value of A is greater than B. Uh, so we know that the value of A is 2 and B is 10. So the value of A is not greater than B in our case, but it will check this value. And if this value evaluates to be true, then uh, we will write something here. So if this value evaluates to be true, then we are going to print a is greater than B. So if the statement or if this condition A is greater than then to print that and if this is not true we are going to write the else part. So if this condition is not true else print A is A is lesser than B. So this is how you can use a if else statement. So you can also create a net if else. So in the else part, you can also write some if conditions here. So let's take one more example. Remember that uh, in the if else statement, you, uh, when you are writing this condition, do not include the circular parenthesis. If you are a C++ programmer, you, you will be able to see the difference between the syntax right here. So let's uh, run, create one more condition. So if B modulus A is equals to equals to one, so this operator double equals will compare the value that comes from here with this one. And if both the values are same it is going to return true and if this is not true it will return false we know that b modulus a will give us the remainder of b divided by a so here we are going to print that if b divided by a is equals to equals to one then this means that a is divisible by b so a is divisible by b and if this is to write the else part and we are going to print here a is not divisible by b so you we will have to write here not equal to right so if the value of B modulus A is not equal to one, then this means that it is not completely divisible by B. So we are going to print this or else we are going to print this line, right? So let's run this program and see the output. So you can see here it displays A is lesser than B and A is divisible by B, which is divisible by B. So this is how you can use uh, boolean values uh, here we have used boolean values so i'm going to write here boolean values you can use boolean values to control which statement to run right so uh, let's take more examples of if else so let's say that if a is greater than b then we will print true so true is a reserved keyword and it uh, it will be it is basically a boolean value so i'm going to write here that now we are going to discuss the boolean values 
so whenever this condition evaluates to be true it is going to print true else it is going to print false so the f should be capital here like this so you can actually do that let's run this program so you can see that it displays false right so these are the statements uh, if else statements 